I'm happy with the tattoo. I know it's a super clean tattoo. I know exactly what it's gonna heal like. I know it's gonna be beautiful. The place that you fall really short for me is going to be in these paws. This huge bubble on that paw, closest to the face. That is a strange looking shape, my man. A paw doesn't look like that. Okay, artist, you have six hours to create a stonework tattoo. And your time begins now. Very, very light with yeah, the shape. Yeah, I'm going real light on the face. Super light. I mean, super light. The thing that worries me the most is I did this tattoo small to be able to finish it, but I'm not sure how to add all the details and not make it muddy. You just got to remember, there's a lot going on. I just want to be able to read it from across the room. OK. Just never stops. I'm so frustrated right now. I regressed in my tattoo, and I can see it. All of a sudden, I can't even draw what should be something simple to me. You have to get every shadow right, and those doubts can kill you. Yeah. I'm focused on where I'm not. Missing my kids and missing my wife just puts me in a place where my head isn't where it's supposed to be. Four more hours to go. Just flow with it, bro. Just here, give me some cracks over here. Thin line, thin line. Just follow the fabric. OK. Put a bunch of black, it keeps popping it out. My canvas of skin is fire engine red. The more we work on it, the less I can see. Because of that redness, you're gonna lose those eyes, man, a lot. The redder the skin, the more blood to the surface. Grays are really thin, so if my gray goes in and the blood is pushing it out, then I really have no structure or depth to my tattoo. I gotta still tighten up in here. This does not look like stone. I am panicked in my head. Fame doesn't really have the look of something big and strong, like a big statue. It looks like a paperweight. If you look at the line work all the way up the back ridge of the wings, it's light, it's sketchy, it's not set in deep. You've won twice and you've lost big twice. This doesn't look like the style of tattooing when you got the win. Jeremy. It doesn't really have a lot of depth to it. You need to lighten up that tombstone so that these darker things sit back. I wanted it to look like one solid statue rather than just a tombstone with a statue behind it. Then that was your poor choice on Dimension Day. What we're looking for is you to be able to trick the eye into thinking that some areas of your tattoo are further back and some areas are further forward. That's what you needed to hit today. Mike. I don't think that anybody's going to think that this is stone. Everything's all shaded in, and it's just not consistent. It's not precise. Just this floating black nose with no ridge bone connection, no muzzle, no whiskers. I don't care if you can't make a stone piece of armor. I care that a wolf looks like a wolf. Time to determine who is going home. Mike's tattoo is the absolute flattest thing. Sorry, Mike, I'm voting for you. My vote's for Mike. The judges have decided, Mike, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you, guys. You have six hours to tattoo a Technicolor hot air balloon. And your time starts now. Let's do this. Got a seat. We're looking for a lot of detail. That's the name of the game today. Maybe yeah. just a little tilted? If you do that, it would kind of swing. Hot air balloons are vivid. They are bright. There's not a very soft looking hot air balloon that flies around. I'm just gonna freehand them in? Yeah, well, I'm gonna draw them first. Cool. Without those things in place, these things are gonna look like a hot mess. All right, buddy, are you ready? Always ready. terrified right now because my canvas has tissue paper skin, which means that every line I do is almost a blowout. You're doing amazing, and I really appreciate it. This impacts everything because I have to go twice as slow. Boy, oh boy. I was going to do a dark brown. But just make sure over here is black. OK. Today I'm not playing it safe. I think it's time for me to show everybody what I'm made of. Are you putting color here? Yep. I just was going to save it for last, because it'll be the lightest. Perfect. OK. I know a lot of color theory. I'm going completely off of my own head on this one and not using any kind of reference. I'm just creating it as I go. It's a big risk, but I think that I can pull this one off. 
we gotta finish all these colors and. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use a smaller needle yeah, okay. to get in there. I'm feeling really good about my tattoo, but I am worried about the risks I took on it. Finish the balloons, make those bulletproof, cause that's our main focus. These tiny micro balloons I'm doing took a lot more time than I thought. So it really ate up the majority of my time, so now I'm rushing at the end to get this frame dialed in. Make sure that thing is bulletproof. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Jeremy. I liked your idea, I liked the design of the balloon in the middle and really going for that Technicolor look, but the top balloon is really jacked. You went too small for the amount of detail you try to show. I think it looks pretty detailed. If you look at this frame, no two sides of this thing have the same line weight. There's an overall messiness to the whole piece. Amanda. First question is, between the balloon and the basket, what's going on there? I was under the impression that the flame was more up in the actual balloon, so I didn't design it to where there was the middle part with the flame. It just looks like it's not done. You need a bolder outline on this. Look at all the areas where yellow actually penetrates your black outline and covers it. If you put a thicker, stronger line, it looks more deliberate. Nobody has a heavy balloon that's gonna cruise through the atmosphere and support the weight of human lives that are inside. Deanna. This thing looks beat in there. It looks rough. This is wall to wall over saturation, just pounded. Breathability, open skin, in this small tight of a thing is your friend for sure. The rough part on the wheel, is that trauma or is it not? With no actual cuts, but you go over it too many times, it's gonna heal rougher. It just, I mean, that's just what it is. Steve's trying to save his team. All right, judges, time to determine who's going home. My decision is Jeremy. He made poor choices in putting this frame there. The fact that you can color yellow up to a line and it takes the line out, I gotta go with Amanda. Amanda. The judges have decided, Amanda, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. How you doing? I'm Human Canvas. Holy, nice to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Who knows how this is gonna play out? We're gonna tip it a little more. Not the other way. Now my teammates turn into my competitors, and it's tough to even view them like that. You know, I've been working with them this whole competition, and now I gotta turn around and try to take them out. Listen, when you put this on, this thing needs to be bulletproof. Normally, I will consult my team and get advice, but today, I'm by myself. That's a good piece, bro. I can't go home with this tattoo. I specialize in black and gray, so I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be me. Damn, it's crazy you guys are doing the same work. What's the chance of that, bro? Apples to apples today. That's crazy he's doing the same one. Is it? Same? Same body. This is super stressful. If my team were to listen to me, we wouldn't be in this predicament. And now we have to tattoo against each other? This is a nightmare. Team Steve, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. You have six hours to tattoo a Jaguar, and your time starts now. Let's do this. like a sparring match before the heavyweight fight. You gotta spar, you gotta get your tattoo under pressure. You have to do that. It's definitely not a good feeling knowing that three of my artists are in the bottom and one of them is definitely going home. But at the end of the day, you have to beat everybody in the room to win, even your own teammates. I feel really good about this tattoo. I'm the strongest on my team and I know I'm gonna crush this thing. Ooh, that is clean, bro. So now Jeremy, because we had the same reference, are going head to head. I want you to just brush a little bit behind the snout. Give me more separation. Okay. Here, to show the back and here. here. Steve picked black and gray illustration. Black and gray is my specialty. Tattoo to tattoo, no matter what, I'm gonna beat Jeremy. Three more hours. Shade those in a little bit. Darn, Just yeah, think about this, this is black. Yep, so. and think about this too. Off that eye, there's gonna be a lid and a little shadow, so just show that little bit. I'm more known for color. Black and gray is something I do sometimes. I'm nervous right now because the stakes are higher than they've ever been. Now I'm going against my team. They can send me home or I can send one of them home. Let's see how you did. Let's start with rolling. I love the face of this thing. 
This tattoo is super smooth. I love the shading. I do like the details that you get. The spots do let me know what this beast is. I'm happy with the tattoo. I know it's a super clean tattoo. I know exactly what it's going to heal like. I know it's going to be beautiful. The place that you fall really short for me is going to be in these paws. This huge bubble on that paw, closest to the face, that is a strange looking shape, my man. A paw doesn't look like that. Big thing about tattoos like this is a lot of times the reference looks great in the photo, but once you turn a photo into a flat 2D image on skin, you lose a lot. And these paws in the front, I can see how you trace the reference and try to replicate it, but it does not have the same depth, the same dimension, the same feel. It doesn't look right. All right, next up is fame. I love the face on this thing. I think you really captured a lot of the ferocity of this cat. I just wish that there was some more contrast to bring that head forward. You need to do a lot to make that head jump out and be visible. If I cover the face and just look at the hump back and the rear legs, it doesn't look like a strong, fierce animal. Just this little bubble body, not showing any musculature, not really showing any fur, just showing spots. Having the tools to know how to draw things in a way that become flattering and powerful is part of being Ape Master. Next up is Jeremy. You use the same reference as fame, but this face does stand apart from the body. Where you lose it for me on accuracy are the claws. This front paw, I don't know, is that another toe? Pull up the reference and look, I don't know. No, man, it's not about the You reference. should know you if you put it, it in there, you man. You drew it. This is not me busting balls. This thing doesn't have enough fingers and toes. Paws are off, can't say nothing about that, but illustration is there. I think its head fits on that body. The neck is connected to it. It has depth. I love the illustrative look. I think you did hit that mark. And the other thing that you really hit on this is the body turn. The front shoulders are coming forward, and the butt of this thing looks farther back than its hip. Thank you. All right, judges, it is time to determine who is going home. Rolly's safe to me, so if we all agree on that. Rolly, you're safe. So this is between Jeremy and Fame. If I look at the anatomy of the cat and the turn of the body and the dynamics of the shapes, 100% like Jeremy's better. There is more accuracy in Fame's claws, but I like that there's depth in Jeremy's that I'm missing out of Fame's. I got to vote for Fame. Fame. The judges have decided, fame. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Thanks a lot, you know, I really appreciate the opportunity, man. This is like, once in a lifetime. Please pack your machines and close shop. Come there, come there, bro. All right? Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care, guys. Everybody. You have six hours to tattoo your canvas's sternum. Your time starts now. This was a simplified version of what you were looking for. I feel like Anthony's out for blood right now. The canvas that I got proves it. Are you guys doing color? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Frankie's a wizard with color. My canvas originally wanted a traditional full body Ganesh. I've talked her into just the head of the Ganesh. Going to clean some little stuff up when you're done? Outline? Yeah. I'm actually going to play it safe. I'm going to make sure that it's a very simple, traditional tattoo that I can get in, saturate, and get out without causing any kind of trauma or any other thing that can go wrong in this piece. What do you got left to line these horns? At least get it blocked in because it's going to be solid black tips. I could not talk my canvas out of doing a realistic dragon, so I talked him into doing a realistic dragon skull. Make sure because you got this little hook. You don't have it on that side. This tattoo is really not my style. I'm making this up as I go along. Some of these aren't quite all the way to the edge. Yeah, just run around like your edges and just, yeah, you see how right there in the corners? There's a lot of pressure on me, especially being the only girl left in this competition. I want to prove that I'm strong enough to get through this. How you doing, Frankie? She's starting to, like, pull and split from, like, rubbing it, like, wiping stuff. You talking about this? Yeah. I'm trying so hard to do such a clean tattoo that I overlooked how much that skin could take, and I overworked it. You said you were wiping it hard and that didn't. It? There is trauma in my tattoo, and this is the one day where that is the worst thing you can ever do. I can only hope that somebody else up more than I did. Final hour, one hour remaining. Just a little choppier in that row. You gotta, you gotta smooth it out. Well, I'm trying to make her look wrinkly. Okay, but you still can have smooth shading. I got the triple moon goddess and I'm not happy about it. Triple moon goddess is three lady faces. A young one, a middle-aged one, and an elderly one. Just tell me it looks like right now. Come on, keep working, bro. You ain't got time. 
Now I'm freaking out. I hate rushing tattoos. I was just at the bottom. I don't want to go to the bottom again, but this tattoo might send me there. Jeremy. Your technical application is nice for the area. You show some nice areas of line work. You show some nice areas of shading. That being said, look at the lips on either girl on the profile. They're not finished. Look at the shading of the nose and the cheeks. They're not finished. The center is so cherried out, it looks like you ran out of time for your profiles. I did it on purpose to make the middle stand out more. Doesn't look complete, 360. Deanna. This is a tough, dark, evil tattoo. The dark shading is very cool, and you do get a lot of nice textures in there, but there needs to be a little bit more highlight areas in some parts of the skull because it just gets so dark that you lose what shapes are going on there. Look at the skull and how gnarled and how textured and how great you do there, and then you get to the horns, and it's just two flat silhouettes. Make them interesting. If you're gonna be able to have this much freedom and be this loose, you gotta follow all the way through. Frank. Design-wise, I think you fall pretty short on this thing. You went really simple. It just has a, a goofy little cartoony look. Everywhere there's these red outlines and these little shapes that go up the trunk, all super inconsistent. The shapes of the headdress and the line weights in particular just look messy. Looking at the left ear, you're pretty much battling a blowout. You get down to the red, the red's gnarled. There is no explanation. I fell on my face. You missed today big time from the drawing to the finish. Judges, it is time to determine who's going home. Frank, you're the one with the most technical issues. Chris. Frank. The judges have decided, Frank, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Keep your head up, be strong. We really respect you, I love your Please pack your machines and close shop. This is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. To prove you deserve to stay in this competition, you must draw your tattoo directly onto your canvas's skin freehand. I'm thinking about doing a honey mask because I know I could draw it and tattoo it in six hours. They don't care if they just did a honey mask. I'm, why the f would you care? This is the last tattoo you do ever. Make this the one you want to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking a huge risk with this tattoo. Team DJ just did it. But I know I could do a honey mask. I could keep up with DJs. He can tattoo. It's just his design sometimes is questionable. Yeah. And he'll have to figure that out. He's just picking something that, I mean, it was just done. Well, the funny part is you got two guys that are technically really good at tattooing. And the designs suffer a little bit. And two people can really design, and their technical suffers a little bit. So who's going to outdo who? I'm freehanding a black and gray illustrative shark. Yeah, I've only been tattooing for six years, so I never would have thought like this would have been like my career, you know what I'm saying? I'm not super experienced like some of the other tattooers. There's a lot of things that I've never done before. This is another first for me. I've never freehand drawn a shark. I gotta make sure that my confidence carries me. Blacking out that back fin for me. Mm -hmm. We got a little spot right there. I don't know if I missed it. Tiny, I don't know what that is. Steve, drive me crazy, bro. I think Steve sometimes forgets how much pressure there is in this competition. I take all of his criticism, but sometimes it's too much. Like, I want it to be my tattoo. I don't want you to tell me how to do it, because then uh, why, am, why am I here, you know what I'm saying? Well, you nailed it. It looks like a stencil, straight oh, up. Thank you so much. What a surprise. Deanna did a lady face and a rose, again. Show something different. With this tattoo, I'm showing that I do every style known to man. It looks exactly how I drew it. The color's bright, the line work is bold. There's no way I'm going home. Let's start with Rolly. Technically, man, I think this thing is really smooth, but a couple things kind of stand out strange to me. Coming off the bottom of his chin area, which it's kind of weird to think that sharks have this like definitive chin, but you have this center line that goes down the belly, then as it comes down to the bottom, it goes off to the side of the tail instead of going down to the center of the tail. Also the placement of the fins. They're too far down from the head for this thing to navigate properly. Take your time, be sure that what you're doing is right. Don't go, oh I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Next up is Jeremy. 
How did you feel about getting this challenge today? I'm very limited to what I could really draw like on the spot. It usually takes me a day or two to draw something perfect. So this is something I could draw that was easier for me to actually pull off a tattoo that's finished. There's a lot of things going on here. Instead of making it a long, slender face, it's really short and really wide. But what's throwing me here is the way you choose to color this thing. You put the yellow as the light source, but the light source is everywhere, but then the front of the face isn't yellow. This is a lowrider panel paint job. You got red stripes and red panels and yellow stripes and yellow panels. I don't really like the color placements. Just the fact you don't count the bottom teeth in between the canines, that's just mind-blowing to me to have seven teeth. But they're all straight. Yeah, straight to the garbage. That's where those go. I give him credit for going for it. You could play safe day, but he really swung for it and obviously missed a little bit here, but he's got a fight in him, you know? People don't think he's fighting because he's quiet and he keeps to himself, but the dude's fighting. All right, guys, it is time to determine who's going home. Are we agreed that Jason and Deanna are safe? I am. You good with that? I'm good with that. I think Rolly's was pulled off with more finesse than Deanna's. Rolly's shark can swim. If the animal can run, if it can swim, if it can slither, okay, it's real. Shark, not swimming. That's that. It's honest, fair judging across the board. All right, Jason and Deanna, you guys are safe from elimination. I'm seeing the problems that you guys have with Jeremy's tattoo, but also as a canvas, if I got a shark that was all out of whack, I'd be a little bummed out about it. Rolly's black and gray, Rolly's line work. I think technically Rolly is stronger. But for me, if we go to Jeremy's, the problems I have are light source, construction, composition. It's a complete miss for that, Jeremy. My vote's for Jeremy. The judges have decided, Jeremy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have six hours to show contrast tattooing a monochromatic portrait. And your time starts now. That's gonna be black, dude. Well, what's gonna be my darkest tone, though? I would not go yeah, navy no, blue, but I would go this blue. I'm the last person on Steve's team. I feel like obligated to take his advice at this point. That is super dark. But Steve is just fighting me on everything that I feel is right. I can use this blue and that blue. No, you can't. You're wrong. I may be down to one artist, but now I don't have any more weak links. All my focus can be on Roly. You only get one blue. And if you put that dark blue next to that black, dude, it's gonna be all black. I'm going against my instinct, and I'm going with what Steve is telling me to do, but I'm just wondering if I'm doing the right thing here. This is my day to show off, and I just shot myself in the foot. So I'm kind of referencing this in this picture. I'm seeing where I put my black to be like in this kind of like darker area of the dark red. I just want to make sure that's correct. I mean, that's the only way I see it. If that's all you can use right there, that's the only way. I'm hitting the challenge, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that this photo is blurry and wonky, and so is my tattoo. I could be screwed. All right, guys, five more hours to go. Jason, because the photo is out of focus, I would sharpen it up, clean it up. I'm doing everything I can to make sure my artists I have now are standing with me at the finale. Look at the shapes that the shadows are making of the hair and then texture out the hair. Well, it's not like that in the picture. Jason's whole reference photo is blurry, so it's gonna be really, really difficult to pull the features from the photo to his tattoo. Well, I just, I'm afraid to add something to a picture that isn't there and then get called out for it. In my opinion, if you're doing a portrait tattoo, Based off of a photo, I feel like you need to most accurately represent that photo. When you tell me those things, it just makes me worry that people are making comments that it's not. No, it's I'm just, I'm being nitpicky myself. It's interesting to see who's gonna take the artistic liberty and tattoo it how it should be represented as opposed to like, oh, it's muddy in the photo, so it's muddy on the tattoo. It's just like, no. Well, you have to, like Deanna's. Deanna's doesn't have hair, so you can't put hair. No way. It's a likeness. It should be apples to apples, It has to look right? like the photo. Yeah, yeah. Because so. it's an old photo and it's muddy, you have to do that muddy yeah. skin. I'm on the other side with that. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Jason. 
I'm thankful for the fact that you did this dark background to really push this thing forward. You have some really beautiful areas in here where you really capture his likeness, but the texture of your portrait's hair becomes a little more curly rather than a straight crew cut. You could have hit that a little bit better. In the photo, this guy's actually got like a lean and you kind of straighten him up and it does have a little bit less of a natural look. Deanna. For a monochromatic portrait, the softness in the application is beautiful. I love the way you just cut out the negatives in the dress at the bottom. And I love the sheerness of the veil. But if we look at her two front teeth, you can see a little bit of divide, very, very slightly. But in your tattoo, you gave her one big crazy tooth in the front. That's the biggest thing that changes the look of this girl. That printout of that picture, you couldn't see a tooth, you couldn't see even the hair direction. Deanna's choice to take that portrait is a choice. That's the things you live and die by in here. Rolly, come on down. Number one, the teeth. In the photo, she has some shadows on her teeth that the shadows are the angles. In your tattoo, you angled the teeth. Where I find this gets strange is how you have that solid line that's creating the shape of her cheek. In the photo, that would be a softer blended appearance. And so the shape of her face gets a little bit away from you. All right, guys, it's time to determine who's going home. If you put Deanna's next to Rolly's, it's night and day. Mouth's off, eyes are off in Rolly's, and it's not applied as well. My eyes are at least in the right place. Deanna's are in the right place. For a portrait, cross-eyed and a buck tooth, kind of ends it for me. My vote's for Deanna. Knowing what these photos look like, there's too many things that get away in Jason's tattoo. My vote's for Jason. I just got to go for likeness. My vote is for Deanna. The judges have decided. Deanna, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here. It's really been an honor. Thank you. I don't agree with this. I hate to see you go. Know that you're just as good as anybody else in this competition. Please pack your machines and close shop. A spot in the finale is on the line. The coaches have called the shots. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. This style is a pain in the ass. It's incredibly nerve-wracking to know that this koi dragon could decide my fate if I'm going to be in the finale or not. This is a lot harder style than I ever thought it was. You're trying to be an ink master. Smoke these Yeah, I know. Then let's do this. The other competitors are tattooing already, and I'm still at the drawing table. Keep getting called out on your proportions. Make this thing bulletproof. Right when I think that I'm good to start tattooing, I find something else that's off in the design. I have to like start all over again. This is your 100 Gs, bro, right here. This is the one. I'm taking so much time designing this tattoo that now I have to make it way smaller than it should be. I can't believe that this is the most important tattoo that I will ever do, and this is happening. This is a whole nother animal here. Every line counts, especially when it's only four of us, you know? Rolly's definitely in trouble. I know he's behind, but rushing on a pinup, you make so many mistakes, especially on a woman's face. I mean, that's the first thing people look at. Give me thicker right on this eye, right in here. It comes up thick and then goes thin. Dude, you give me that best face you ever gave me. You know what I'm saying? The only saving grace for Rolly's tattoo is his application because his design is not good. Two spots in the finale remain. Three artists stand. Rolly. The anatomy is pretty jacked. Both arms, both shoulders are weird. The neck connecting to the shoulder is totally crazy, and then the head is huge. That nose and where the center of the lips fall are smeared sideways. You highlighted this really oversized cheek where it looks like she got rocked. This one really got away from me, man. Jason. The turn on the spine, that part of the fish, you do pretty well. But the ear is pushed way too far up into the furrowed brow of the dragon. Your fins are up too high. You're black and gray in all of the scales. Not nice. Way too grainy. All of the black in the scales, equally nervous. Yeah, I was nervous. Punch it in, man. Punch it in. All right, judges, this is it. Who gets the last spot in the finale? For me, it is a matter of principle. Skin trauma, I'm not having it. Rolly to the finale.
based on what has impressed me the most out of these four tattoos in terms of beauty and evoking emotion. My vote's for Jason. I am really, really torn, because Jason, you do have something that a lot of people don't have as far as your creativity, but technical problems are a big miss. My vote is for Roly. The judges have decided, Roly, you are headed to the finale. That means, Jason, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Jason, man, everything that you've overcome, coming from where you had nobody to rely on, and you put all of that in me, it shakes me to my core, and it inspires me. What you do is your style, and you do it well. It's beautiful. I'm excited for you and your family and your future, man. Please pack your machines and close shop.